And welcome back. We're getting ready to move on into our first segment of the morning, something that a lot of people definitely can relate to because, hey, eh, summertime, makeup time is here. <laughs> and uh, while we've got that, we'll be showing you exactly what to do in, for day and what to do for nighttime. In with us is none other than Andrea. Andrea Renault, who is a beautician. She is also a makeup artist. Now, this lady is good at what she does. She's right here with us with her two girls. Andrea, good morning. Good girls, morning. good morning. <laughs> and welcome. Guess what? A Friday, yeah? It's Friday, <laughs> yes. And it's Customer Weekend. Yeah. Exactly. And I think this is the best time. I know a, a lot of ladies are tuned in trying to get their tips, their tips as yeah. to how to put on their makeup mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Now, Andrea, so many of us kind of just teach ourselves how to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, but you were trained. You you studied how to do uh, makeup, right? Yes, I went oh, to a school okay. called Makeup Designery. Okay. Nice. And I did do a four-month course mm -hmm. in studio makeup and beauty makeup. Okay. Now, this wasn't your original intention. You actually studied psychology first, and yes. then you ventured into yes. makeup. What <laughs> made you make that shift? You know your quarter-life crisis. <laughs> 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 you know that moment in your life where you're like, oh, know if, if this is what I really want to do yeah but you always have something that you like to do mm -hmm. yeah right and I for me I feel like if you can turn what you like and love to do into something that's lucrative mm -hmm. or you know productive for you financially well yeah. then why not but Andre you, you had to have a touch before I mean from psychology then all of a sudden say well, look I gotta be a cook man Funny, there you go <laughs> So you Always. had to have that. You had yes. to have that. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's and, nice. And you've had uh, extensive experience in Guatemala as well, yes, working with TV studios wow. and uh, with other women as well, right? Yes, I definitely okay. did. So All what right. has it been like coming back to Belize and getting everybody uh, prepared for their special moments? You know what? It's a different um, environment, it's a different feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when you come from... Uh, a more developed country mm -hmm. that, you know, they makeup is an uh, everyday thing. Like, yeah. women get up early in the morning to blow dry their hair mm -hmm. at a salon, get their makeup done, and go to work. Mm -hmm. Like, that happens. That's a daily routine. That's a for daily them. routine wow. for a lot of women. So, the pace is slower here, but I think it's still just as rewarding mm -hmm. because it's a new experience for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. people come to me and they've never had their makeup done before professionally. Yeah. And I love it. So, now here's the thing though, because you're right, the cultures are different and I have to ask you, I find that people in Belize don't wear as heavy makeup mm -hmm. as you see in other countries. Do mm -hmm. you find that? Very true, but you'd be surprised uh -huh. with, you know, the influx of, you know, United States culture, mm -hmm. YouTube, All the YouTube, Instagram, mm -hmm. everybody wants the fleeky eyebrow, the highlights, <laughs> glowing for the gods, they call it. <laughs> everybody wants everything. Okay. And so... You know, every, so it's, it's changing a trend. now. It's changing. So you, yes. you made those three transitions, U.S., uh, Guatemala, Belize. Now, what was that like for you having to work within these three uh, municipalities? These well, three I never worked in the U.S., oh, okay. but I did have to make the transition. Um, like I said, working, working in a developing country, you're constantly going. You yes. know, going. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like every day there's every someone, day, every somebody day there's to, deal something with. to yeah. do. Over here, it's like on occasion. It's seasonal, mm -hmm. yeah. especially June and May. September for Carnival, ah. December for all of the parties, yeah. which is when I guess Belize gets very busy. Yeah, you that's know? when and people start coffee. to glam up. <laughs> <laughs> now, not only have you been offering your services professionally, you also have your YouTube channel where you've been doing tutorials, right? Right. Actually, um, Jamie, mm -hmm. very own Jamie that sometimes. Yes, Jamie mm -hmm. Rock. Mm -hmm. Jamie Rock. She and I, um, a few months ago, decided, you know what? We want a creative outlet. Yeah. And so we started a YouTube channel. Wow. It's called Beauty in the Tropics. Um, it started off as makeup tutorials, but now it's going on to skincare and more, more geared towards wellness and holistic living. Nice. Okay. Congratulations. Beauty to you. in the Tropics. Now, John, you may not understand this, but for <laughs> us women, it is difficult. Uh, you, your makeup can look beautiful in your room in front of a fan or an mm -hmm. air conditioning, mm -hmm. and then you step outside. And it melts totally gross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have like runny mascara, like you've been crying yes. all night. So tell us the first thing. Okay, so I have two beauty hacks for you guys today. Mm -hmm. First off, I have a primer called laxative <laughs> Look, milk of magnesia you kidding <laughs> i am not so this this stuff is awesome i found it obviously on the internet you find yeah. everything on the internet everything is true on the internet i'm kidding yeah. so <laughs> it works by um putting a film over the skin okay so the makeup adheres to this instead of the actual skin 
So what skin tends to do, it absorbs mm -hmm. the product, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then if you have oily skin, mm -hmm. what, what ends up happening is that your makeup slips up everywhere. So yeah. you end up, you know, not looking too cute by sure o'clock. <laughs> 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 so what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to use this laxative. Yes, don't mm -hmm. get it in your mouth if you don't have to. <laughs> don't. As a primer. All so right. I'm really just going to, if you notice half of her face it's already is done. done. And the other face is just natural beauty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on her face in a very thin layer. She does say that she has oily skin. Okay. And I'm going to apply that and let it dry. So that was going to be my question. Does it matter what skin type you have if you're going to use this as a primer? Yes. If you have a normal to dry skin, you really don't need to do this because you don't have that oil problem. Okay. okay. Because the real problem when it comes to your makeup not, makeup not lasting all day mm -hmm. is oil. Okay. okay. Right? So if you have normal skin, just use a normal sil silicone-based primer. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. really need to do all of this. So I'm gonna let that dry. And so that was it, right? Quick. That, that, that was, was quick. That was it. That's that was after it. After moisturizer, before this. This is before. This is before the makeup, but after the moisturizer. Okay. Okay. Right, because you should always moisturize your face. So if you turn your face over here, if you notice, it will dry chalky because mm -hmm. that what it, that's what it does. It's yeah. like a chalky type of substance. Chalky base. Okay. All right. Yes. And on top of that. You know, because she is the day model, we're not going to use a heavy foundation. In fact, we're going to use a lightweight foundation. You can, it's also called a BB cream. Okay. And we're going to apply so that. So there is a purpose for BB cream. Yes. They were so big. It went it's, from BB cream to yes. CC cream. I don't know if they're at D's yet, but. I really don't know either. I won't even <laughs> be able to tell you the difference either. All right. So as you can see, I'm just going to apply this over her face. Okay. Like so. So that's another tip. If you're doing daytime makeup, instead of going for a full foundation, exactly. use a BB cream, which is yes. kind of like an all-in-one product, right? Exactly. All-in-one moisturizer. Some of them have uh, antioxidant serums, all kinds of stuff in there. Wow. And as you can see, the chalkiness goes away. Oh. And the skin is very matte. Yeah. Right? And you continue this until... Your heart's desire. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> if you have uh, blemishes or imperfections that you're worried about, then go in with a concealer on the spot. Okay. okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Instead of putting on a heavy layer of makeup because you have to, your face has to be able to move, your face, has, you have to be able to be flexible. Flexible, yeah. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. So, that was it. So um, if you, she turns her face, I'm just gonna explain the look because yeah. if I stand here and I do the whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, you know, it takes a while to be beautiful. <laughs> so, <laughs> so her look is very natural. It's very centered on the smoothness on her skin, on the highlight, on the arch of her eyebrows. So we want to emphasize the natural beauty of you when you're doing yeah. anything really, but during the day, you don't want to go too crazy. So if yeah. you turn this way, there we go, and ta-da, ah, bam, yeah. so she has highlight. Very, <laughs> a thin eyeliner, her brows yes. are done. Very and thin, some, yes. Is it blush or just, just highlighter? It's highlight and just a tad of, of blush. blush. Okay. You know, you get yeah. Mustard, you get red, you don't need so much pink yeah, blush. Yeah, you don't need the pinkness. So, so, for to, to, so to do a face like this, uh, mm -hmm. would be what would be the duration? You've got to get out, get out to work, or your girls are coming for you. Yes. What would be okay. the duration for such things? I am not going to lie to you. Uh -huh. It takes me 45 minutes to an hour to put on my face. Uh, I'm just going to put that uh, out there. I see you. I see Now, <laughs> something more natural like this. She doesn't have on any eyeshadow. Yeah. Okay. She, so there are, skip, there, are, there are steps that we have skipped, mm -hmm. but this would take you like 20 minutes. Okay. To get it, okay. yeah, to get it real, like, you know, you have to take your time. You have to lay down the mortar. <laughs> all right, all right. I love how she describes her process. I, I got a question for you because yes. I obviously see that you're using uh, a beauty blender, the sponges, right? Mm -hmm. um, and once upon a time, it was all about the brushes. Now it's all about the sponges. Mm -hmm. What do you find? Does it matter what you use? Yes, it matters. If you feel like, for example, right now, I use a sponge because the sponge absorbs product. Okay. So when I go to apply it, it doesn't apply as much product on the face. Because mm -hmm. okay. once it's on the face, it's harder to take off. Okay. Right? Now, if I were to use a brush, mm -hmm. you know, like a foundation brush, 
then I have more product to work with on this skin. Okay. okay. So if I want to go heavier, I mm -hmm. want to use a brush and distribute okay. evenly. Okay. But I feel like you should have your arsenal if you, you know, depending on what you want to do. Yeah. All okay. Right. Nice. Good. So that's another tip and there that's for the us. And that's the daytime. This that's is the daytime look. All right. Thank you so much to Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so now we're going to night. Now night. So I was thinking, oh, it's Casamaya, you know, like Isla Bonita, Easy. you know. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I said, well, she was, you know, bright eyed and bushy tailed or mm -hmm. big haired. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And she is Sunset Goddess. Oh, okay. right. So please turn your face this way so I can see your beauty. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was having a very sunset centric look. So yeah. I have oranges. I have pinks and I have purples, okay. yeah. right? And All I right. do it. So I did it as subtle as possible because you, you know, a lot of people are afraid of color. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are not going to run around and have green eyeshadow or yeah. purple eyeshadow like every day. But it can be done where it is tasteful and yeah. still has that pop. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how I did this eye over on here. On the other side. Yeah. All right. On so the we'll, other we'll side. We'll give you the space to do your work, right? Thank you. Excuse <laughs> me. Please excuse me. <laughs> we'll stay here and observe. Now, this is a daunting process for mm -hmm. people who don't know anything about makeup. Um, you know, mm -hmm. how adventurous should you get with your eyeshadow if you are an amateur? If you are an amateur, stay home for a little bit and practice. <laughs> if you're Otherwise, going, Otherwise, you'll end up with like yes. a bruised face Tri look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you're going to go all out, then practice, practice first. Practice before. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. right? But I feel like you should play with makeup. It's something, I feel like people don't look at it as a tool. Mm -hmm. it has, it's a tool of self-expression. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use it when I'm anxious. You guys were talking about anxiety, anxiety and yeah. you know, breathing exercise and mindfulness. This is my mindfulness. Yeah. This is it, how I I relax. mean, it's a very focused activity yes. as well. It, ve it very much is. Right. And you can create, oh, let me, hold on. You can create anything, really, when you set your mind to it and focus. Definitely. Now, what about skin tones and colors that mm -hmm. you use? Mm -hmm. What is, are there right and wrong do's and don'ts that you should be adhering to? Yes. A lot of people don't think that they don't need their actual color in foundation mm -hmm. and feel like they can get away with something that's similar to their complexion when really it's not. <laughs> you, anyone can see when your face does not match the rest of your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one, I feel like my biggest advice to anyone is never buy a foundation without actually trying it on first. first okay. okay. Because a lot of people, you know, they go online and they're like, oh, this kind of looks like it. And then they get it and it's not it. Yeah. You, you know, know? And, and it's to me, to a certain extent, it's, it's embarrassing to be wearing something that doesn't match the entire tone. Uh -huh. Like, for instance, oh, what you mean, you John, as a man, you can spot that? Of course. Oh, it, it, yeah. You know, it is spotable. That's, see? What, we, that's what we do. You <laughs> All know? right. So, in the case of her, yeah. in the case of you guys right now, you could actually see like, it, that it, it is a blend. Yeah. There's a blend there. But some, for some folks now, I guess they need to practice. <laughs> <laughs> they need to practice. And you know what, what? It's not everybody's forte. Yeah. And honestly, like I said, it's not about it being a mask. Yeah. It's about being an expression of how you feel, yeah. what you want to do for that day. So okay. take your time with it, buy your, your materials, and have fun. Like, it doesn't have to be that serious. So let's tell us, tell us the basic arsenal that you need. Okay, what you need for your everyday life? For your everyday, if you want to venture into probably doing your makeup better, you mm -hmm. know, we, we have somebody here who had been practicing. Uh, I, I don't know if she's taking notes right now. Um, but of course, you know, it was going through the list of what do you need Maybe. to just get started. She right? said she's taking yeah, notes. Yeah, she's taking <laughs> notes. Good, yeah. So it was from foundation, but of course you can tell us what all you need, right? Okay, you need your solid foundation, your color match foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe that you should have more than one foundation, one that's lighter and one that's darker yeah. because we're in the sun, sometimes we're not in the sun. Our complexion, our color changes. Yeah. So have more than one foundation. That's a good tip. So when yes. you're sunburned, you can use the darker one. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. And 
for me, it's all about the brows and the eyes. Okay. Because if you don't even, you don't have to wear lipstick if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. But I feel like your eyes are the mirror to your soul. So they need to be as decorated as possible. You treat those windows. Definitely. Okay. Window treatment. <laughs> so you want some good curtains. You want yeah. some good curtains, yes. Yes, you do. You want some nice paneling, whatever it is, from molding. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I really think that once you have your foundation, which is it's the reason why it's called a foundation, mm -hmm. and your window treatments, okay. you should be fine. So you want your foundations, you want your brow equipment, which is, do you use brush? I'm going to use pencil or use gel? Okay, I am very old school. I have, I just, somebody asked, one of them asked me this yeah. last night. They said, what do you use for your eyebrows? I have always used a powder. I have never, I've always used a powder. Really? My first, my first eyebrow compact wasn't even like for eyebrows. It was an eyeshadow from yeah. MAC called Expresso. Uh -huh. And so I do use a brow brush mm -hmm. and my powder. Okay. Right. That's, That's what it, it. is. That's well, it. we can see uh, your improvision. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I'm going to take the laxative home job. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you can if you really need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so we got the brows out. And what about liners, eyeliners? Okay, eyeliners. Now, if you are not, ma you have not mastered the flick of the wrist, mm -hmm. I call it, right? Because it if takes, you're not a wing specialist. Yes, it takes some practice to, to get your, even with me, sometimes I feel like my eyeliner is never even, or as even as it could be. Yeah. I would suggest you start off with a felt tip brush that already has the shape. Okay. So it's easier for you to maneuver, yeah. mm -hmm. right? As opposed to using a pencil, or using a gel liner mm -hmm. where you will have to manipulate Go back the and back and yes. then you end up like Amy Winehouse. That yes. happens to me sometimes. Oh my goodness. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So guys, what I'm doing now is I've already created this sunset kind of look like. So you did a base of like a pink? The base the orange? was an orange because yeah. this is a sunset, remember mm -hmm. guys? Okay. okay, so now like I'm going to get real deep, in, deep into this now. The gold in the middle is the sun. Is oh, the wow. sun. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> right? Okay. The sun is setting on her eyelid. Yeah. The sun is setting on her eyelid, right? So Very I have creative. to also make a drop shadow because what happens when the sun goes down? <laughs> I'm really kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, you did think this. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but for symmetry, for symmetry, I'm going to add a drop shadow oh of the same God. orange color that's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. okay. All the while guarding for fallout, right? And then the pop-up color comes with the purple. I don't know what sunset purple, but sometimes I see purple in the sun. There is purple in the Right? There is, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't crazy. So I'm going to add this purple to her waterline. Right here. And it's subtle, but don't worry about that because what I'm going to end up doing is highlighting that even more with a shadow. So I have a nice shadow work here called Jingleberry. Mm -hmm. I could tell you this much, Audrea. We yes. have a lot of young audience, and one of the things they do is actually use these shows and eventually go back and try to uh, get things right. Mm -hmm. They eventually find themselves in a situation like you, whereby I want to become a beautician. Right. And what would a be makeup advice? Artist. Yeah, makeup, makeup, artist, makeup yeah. artist. Now, what would be uh, some advice to them? Then again, does brand matter? Where do they start? I don't want to say that brand matters, mm -hmm. quality matters, mm -hmm. because there are some high-end products that aren't very good, okay. mm -hmm. as well as some low-end products that are amazing. Okay. So tell us your budget fine before we get into the high-end. Budget fine, number one, this thing right here is rose water, mm -hmm. it's a moisturizer, it's a, a makeup setter, and it costs like $6 on Amazon. You're mm. Yes. And it's a big bottle. So it's, it lasts. It's yeah. a big bottle. Yeah. Six Stuff bucks. like, let's see. This primer over here. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's this is a Maybelline primer and it's a dupe yeah. for it's a dupe for the poor professional from Benefit that's like 15 US dollars and this is like three. Mm. You know? So there are things that you can buy that are cheaper. Your laxatives are My cheap. My laxative. <laughs> there you go. You know? <laughs> My laxative. You don't have to pay, I don't know, $30. In case you're just tuning in, there was a purpose for the laxative in the makeup segment. Oh. Just so you know. And it had nothing to do with its normal function. <laughs> and so, yes, you can oh definitely gosh. 
get into these things and not have to break the bank. Here's However, a question. Ever. Do we splurge on brushes? Always. Okay. I feel like you should splurge on brushes. However, there are certain manufacturers that come from the same factory, mm -hmm. so you're getting the same brush, it's just a different label. Okay. In makeup, it's a lot about labels. It's a lot about the name that you're okay. buying. Okay. So you can definitely not break the bank if you don't have to, if you're, especially if you're a beginner. Yeah. You know, which these days, I don't think anybody's a beginner when it comes to makeup. Like, girls are on, like, 12-year-olds. No, it's true. 10-year-olds, they, they are, like, there are YouTube videos of little girls that are nine years old beating their faces <laughs> as if they were my age. Uh, my, my daughter came out last night, pop, pop, with makeup and totals. Wow. <laughs> and you said? Just for a show. What? I said, what the hell? <laughs> Wow, that's <laughs> No, she great. did last night, she did. That, that's, <laughs> that's a creative one. But you know what, like I said, it's, to me it can be an art form. You know, a lot of people may not think so, may look down on it, you know, may say like, oh, you know, she's mm -hmm. not a genuine person for always mm. wearing a makeup. And yeah. I say I'm a genuine person for wearing my makeup because this is what I like to wear. Yes, yeah. it's what you like, yeah. yeah. And I feel that the culture has changed a lot. I think now people recognize that it's like a form of expression. Right. Yeah, it is. And it I is. think secretly everyone wants to have their own makeup artist doing their makeup every day. Or at least learn how to do it like a makeup artist. Are you hinting at me right now? Well, you know, <laughs> my mornings would be a lot less hectic <laughs> if I wasn't stuck in front of a mirror so right. long. <laughs> trying to perfect the, uh, what is it, the wrist? The thing? flick of the wrist. The wrist. All right. <laughs> that is my least favorite time of the day. <laughs> I totally understand. I myself don't wear makeup every day yeah. or, you know, to the extent that I would yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong with it, if you know. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing. So if we're getting the lashes on. We're getting the lashes. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting a little while because I added the adhesive. It needs to get tacky and dry. That's a big mistake people make. Mm -hmm. like oh, they, they put it on when it's wet. They put it on when it's wet, then it slips everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then okay. you have a mess and then you can't come back from and that. And then halfway through the night, you're like, yes. It's All right, well, I don't really know about that, but I, I know somebody who did it once with crazy glue. Is that a no-no? That's, I don't ever do that. <laughs> I know somebody Why? who Hold did on. that. Did they, I, did they I have lashes? Did they have eyelashes after that? Yes. Afterwards? I haven't seen, I haven't seen them in a while, but okay. uh, the last oh, time I no. saw them, it was with crazy they, they glue. probably don't have lashes after that, <laughs> if I were no. to venture, I guess. No, guys. This is no, this is no joke. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I've seen this. Not cool. Mm. How to apply? Ooh, okay. Yeah. We didn't. Uh, we, we already <laughs> did it. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Because so, that's hard. A lot of it's very difficult to get yes, your lashes on. Yes, it is. So I recommend always use a tweezer. Mm -hmm. Some people have the natural ability to just look, put mm -hmm. it on with their fingers. Well, I really can't it, do yeah. that. I need the extension of this. Mm -hmm. So I start off at the outer corner. I lay that down first, and then I wiggle it. On, which is, and this is where the tackiness comes in. Mm -hmm. If it's too wet, you're going to get a mess. Okay. So I wiggle it until it's as close to the lash line as possible. Okay. Not mm -hmm. on the lash, but on top of the lash. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you make sure that the inner corner of the eye doesn't have the lash near the, anywhere near the tear duct because it will irritate yeah. your eye. Of course, always remember to fit your lashes before because not everybody has the same eye shape or eye size. So make sure you, before you put on the glue, you shape, you make sure you measure it and make sure that the lash is fitting your eye. Okay. And bam. And she's not crying, so. She's not crying, but she looked up. She opened her eyes on Open Your Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted That's to say that one. all day. Yeah. I wanted to yeah. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Practice it. <laughs> Practice. You know I want to say it? <laughs> and she does have a heavy fold here. Yeah. And so you have to be careful when you have eyes like this. Mm -hmm. I, I notice you have that type mm -hmm. of eye as well. Whenever you have buy products, buy products that dry quickly. Because mm -hmm. your eyeliner, once you open your eye, yep. it will Or that mess up. horrible sneeze that takes place yeah. right after you apply mascara. Yeah, exactly. See, there we go again. That's fine. You know what? I'm okay. here to fix it. I will save the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is pretty much the look. And that was so simple. So you did a base of uh, orange. orange. The uh, a gold, gold right in the center, right of, in the the center of the lid. Mm -hmm. 
And then you did a little bit of purple and orange underneath. Underneath mm. to and balance it out. She doesn't Sunset. need any liner. She will go. No liner. liner. This look doesn't call for liner. If you notice, she has a slight liner because we wanted to change the shape of her eye to elongate her eye to look yeah. more awake. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of drama happening in her eye right here. So if you can add a, a liner if you want to, yeah. of course, go right ahead. Right. But she just doesn't need it. And remember going for the color is the main event. So we don't want to distract from it too So much. for this now, Custom Eye Weekend, this would be the... This will be the look you wear when you want to cut them around for your date. Easy. Oh, for a and, then, and your hair is blowing in the wind, <laughs> and your eyes are twinkling and reflecting the sunset. We got one more thing that has to twinkle. Oh, she has it on already. Her highlighter? Yes, that's like the biggest thing right now. You so know what? Let's, let's talk about how we do that. How we do that? Okay. Yeah. Highlighter. I know much. this is ABC for you, Drea, but for the rest of us, it's if like, this is like a one -on -one, decoding yeah, a math yeah. equation. <laughs> you know what? I have a friend that call that calls it grease. Like, just put grease by your face. That's all you're <laughs> doing. <laughs> and I'm like, no. So why not. why is glow glowing or what is it called again? Highlighter so Highlighter. big right now. Because I think it mimics radiance. Okay. Right. And you want to feel radiant. You want to feel like a sun. Like yeah. a star when yeah. you're walking. Naturally shining. Right? Yeah. And when you sweat, when mm -hmm. you notice when you like you have that little like sweat on your face, you tend to look healthier. Mm. Right? I just worked out, I'm in shape, like yeah. you know, yeah. I glow. I glow from within. <laughs> and so, you know, some of us don't glow from within. So we have to add highlighter. <laughs> Straight up. So Straight up. Because once upon a time it was all about blushes, now it's all about highlighters, yes. right? Do mm -hmm. you use both or do you use one? What do you both. use? Both. Always both. You can just, you know, use your own, you just use a blush, you can just use highlighter, but use both because it's all about dimension and creating angles, light and shadows okay. on the face. All right. So now for highlighter, highlighter is always placed on the highest part of the cheek because that's what you want to be noticed first, okay. right? And it's a reflective substance, so that's what catches the light first. Okay. And so, excuse her, Look down. Excuse this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're going to we, we add it in like a V form here, mm -hmm. right? And so when you when you turn your face, it catches the light. If you can yeah, see that. Yeah, we see great on that side. Yep. Yeah, it catches the light. The light isn't cooperating on this yes. side. Yes, you can <laughs> but use it shows there. Yeah. Right, you can use a cream highlighter mm -hmm. like so, mm -hmm. and you can use powder highlighters like so. There are different finishes. Yeah. So this is more intense than this one. You don't even have to go out and get a top of the line highlighter. You can use from your eyeshadow palette. You can use your eyeshadow oh. as a highlighter. You so find the shiniest one. Find the shiniest, find the shiniest one, and it looks just like looks this. Like the, yeah. You don't have to buy it. No, not at all. Ta-da! <laughs> I know I illuminated your day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you made this seem so simple, and uh, I think. Well, we have a little bit more time, do we? Are we out? Because I wanted to for you to do your brows on her because people are asking about brows all the time. You know, all I right. have the sharpest brows out here. I know. <laughs> so we move back My over that side. My question is, how long does it take you? <laughs> it takes me no time. I'm I was born this understanding. <laughs> like around, you know, two to three minutes. Right. Okay. So I wet my angle brush just a little. All right. I take my shadow. And for her, she has a light, a light um, coverage right now. I did put some, some shadow on her eyebrow earlier because you know I didn't want to do her like that in public. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I am, what I do is I like to follow the natural shape of the brow bone. Okay. So because sometimes our eyebrow is not the shape of eye, uh, our eyebrow, oh. right? So I like to follow that shape and dip where I feel like her temple is now being concave. Mm -hmm. oh, that makes okay. any sense. Yeah. And I just fill it in, following that shape. She has very fortunate arches. <laughs> Arcs, right? I don't know. Naturally so. Naturally so, so we don't have to, you know, worry too much over here. All right. uh, keep the coverage of the the powder light in the beginning of the brow just because it's gonna look a little too harsh if you if you do so make sure you brush all the way through making sure you don't have any clumps or accumulation of product where you don't want it and then you carve out the brow that's the expression 
carving out the brow. brow. Carve out the brow. Carve it out. Okay, what does that mean? It means that you define the brow even further. So it looks as if it was so without any assistance. And it's also a highlighter, right? Yeah. So that's a step you definitely don't want to miss. Yes. Well, you can. You can miss it. You don't have to do this step. Okay. But if you want it to look as uniform and as carved out <laughs> <laughs> as possible, then you do this step. I'm just going to come over here really quickly because I need the angle. John, you're in awe. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a learning session you for didn't me. Know this is like Makeup 101. Right? No, I didn't know. I really didn't know. So you appreciate the ladies more now? But of course. Than... Okay, like I mentioned, great. there's nothing wrong with makeup. Great. Appreciate the work we put into this. And then you very much just buff it out. And ta-da. That's it. There That's you it. go. <laughs> Unless you raised her eyebrows <laughs> for added effect. <laughs> And that's it. This is like the most important thing to me personally. Anyway. Uh -huh. You know? So yeah, there she goes. There you have it, simple enough. So there was no secret uh, magic touch that she did there. You filled it in with powder mm -hmm. and you did the highlight or carved it out, I should carved say. Carved it out. Afterwards. I should though mention that a lot of people tend to use a concealer that's too light and then it looks too harsh and mm -hmm. unnatural. Mm -hmm. Use something, see this color already blended into it her skin? It looks like the color mm -hmm. of her skin, yeah. Right, that's what you should use. Don't use anything that's too too light because then you can run into a little bit of trouble when it comes to blending it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was quite a bit of tips that we had there. Anything else that you want to share with us before we wrap up? You know, nothing more than I want to say thank you very much to Pucker Up. Uh -huh. for their amazing products because they do have amazing makeup products in Belize. Yeah. Okay. So check them out. Pucker That's up Belize. an online store, right? Yes. Yeah. Online, so you can find them on Instagram or on okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for having me here today. You well, thank you girls. for coming in and sharing the tips and for our lovely models for waking up early and getting your yes. makeup on. <laughs> I, I know there was a bit of prep work before as well. So, right. Um, thank you to all of you. And of course, you are on Facebook. Uh, it's Dream Faces yes, that's Makeup correct. Artist. Yes. And your uh, YouTube channel is Beauty in the Tropics. That's right. All that's right. Okay. <laughs> and there you'll find all the tips and tricks you need all and of some of the suggestions uh, as to your own glamour look that you can try at home. Yay! <laughs> All right. You think, Night you, and day. you think you can do this at home? Of course. Oh! Yeah. She said. Confidence, <laughs> confidence. All right. All right. So thank you so much, Freya. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. you uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, it's for Brock It Down with Jenny. So stay tuned.